So I think about the population all the time, as you've been telling on my specials, I'm always talking about it, and I think I got the plan. Because I know, no, 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 wait till you hear the plan first, because a lot of people are going to die. <laughs> Before you start hooting and hollering, everybody thinks they're going to fucking make it, right? This is how you do it. Well, this is how I would do it. Okay, first of all, you got to become a dictator, okay? Because it's too late to try to be like, well, hey, man, maybe just have a couple. It's too fucking late. Someone's got to have the balls to take out the sickle <laughs> and start chopping some heads. So, here's my idea. I become dictator. When you become dictator, obviously, you got to murder everybody in power, right? From the head all the way down to their goldfish. you got to kill everyone in the family so they don't come back for their revenge like in Godfather 2 or every karate movie you've ever seen, right? <laughs> You gotta do it the way the Russians did it, where you don't find the skulls for a hundred fucking years. That's the way you do it. Then you take control of the media. I keep all of you guys media blacked out. You don't know what's going on unless I want you to know it, right? Big pictures of me. You gotta sing songs about me. If there's no passion in it, a black van pulls up and you're never seen from again, all right? <laughs> Figure three to six months of that, everybody gets on the same page, and that's when I'd start thinning it out. This is how I would do it. I would just start randomly sinking cruise ships. <laughs> just hear me out. It's the way to go. It's the way to go. You get 2,500 to 3,000 people a whack, and I think it's a really good mix of people to get rid of. <laughs> you know? Think about the kinds of people that take a cruise. These aren't forward thinkers. These aren't seekers, they're not pivotal to our survival. You ever hear somebody coming back from a cruise? It's one of the worst stories you're ever gonna hear. Because they don't do shit. They don't wanna travel to another country, interact with a new culture, try to figure out the train system or the money. All they wanna do is just sit on a fucking boat. Just drinking, that's all they wanna do, all right? Worst story you'll ever hear. Hey, how was your cruise? Oh, it was great. I was fucking laying there. There was a DJ over here on the one and the two wooka wooka thing, right? And then they had this chocolate fountain. It was like a fountain, but it was chocolate. And you stuck the toothpick in the food, and you stuck it in the chocolate, and you stuck it in your mouth. And then you'd be like, I want another drink. And they bring it all, you drink it, and it dribbles down, and it gathers in your navel, and you punch yourself. Get in your mouth. Then every day around noon, we line up for lunch. What's for lunch? We don't know. We don't make decisions. Whatever they give us. I like all inclusive. You just have to think once. Can I write that number on this piece of paper? All right. Tell me where to go. I'm telling you, if you guys could just get past the humanity of what I am suggesting. If you could just get past it and maybe lose a couple of friends here or there. I'm telling you, you wouldn't miss them. You wouldn't miss. You know when you'd miss them when you when you went to when you went to a baseball game and there wasn't those hundred people in the upper deck trying to get the wave going, right? <laughs> you wouldn't have people getting mad because someone's sitting down during a song like that's offensive to me, even though I don't know the issue, right? <laughs> Nashville, little pulled back on that one. Little pulled back. It's about police brutality, it has nothing to do with you and your beautiful white world and mine, right? Just let it go, I don't give a fuck if you watched every episode of McHale's Navy, this is still not about you, it's not a military issue. <laughs> I'm telling you, you wouldn't fucking miss them. And this is the deal, all right? I wouldn't just give the order to start sinking these cruise ships and then retire to my chambers with my mistresses and my whores, right? <laughs> just banging away, wearing the whole uniform, the whole dictator uniform, everything except for the pants, right? <laughs> Compression socks with sock garters just banging away. My unearned medals just clanging off my chest. The big thing is to see how long I could fucking keep the hat on, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I can't do that. That breeds resentment amongst your men. You gotta lead them into battle. And I would. I would, I'd have my own sub, all right? I'd have my own sub and I would hunt these cruise ships on a moonlit summer night. That's right, on a moonlit summer night when sound carries, you know? You know those summer nights when your neighbor's talking about you? 
doesn't think he can hear him. You're sitting on your porch going like, oh yeah, is that how it is? <laughs> so that's how it is, right? One of those nights. And I'd be a sport about it. I'd surface before I did it. I'm armed, they're not. It's only fair, right? <laughs> they see me, I give them a little wink, little nod. I'd have a little Red Baron class. All right, get the fuck out of here, right? But if you didn't see me, it'd be game on. And every moonlit summer night, every summer, I'd go out to harvest, right? That would be the deal. I would just surface. Whoosh, And listen for the music, yeah? Fire one. And then you cruise over, you strafe all the survivors. would be it. 2,500 to 3,000 less people. And you want the greatest thing? No, it's all underwater. All the evidence is gone. All the evidence is gone. Every mass murderer throughout time is fucked up. They did it on land. You're gonna get caught. Where are you gonna put all of that, right? You do it out to sea. It all goes under, you know, nobody knows. I don't know what happened. I have no idea, right? No evidence. No evidence. Maybe, maybe like a flip-flop. Right? Like an Ed Hardy shirt, just floating by. I'm controlling the media, nobody knows about it, right? And as I sank the ships, I would be building exact replicas at the same time, right? So I'd be eliminating people while creating jobs. You guys have no fucking idea what's going on, only you just realize, like, wow, man, the traffic's easing up. I'm getting into third gear at five o'clock at night. This is crazy. This is amazing. I don't know what's going on, but this Bill guy's all right. You know, another buddy of mine got a job building ships. Can you fucking believe that? That industry, it's just blowing up. It's, it's crazy. Dude, I want to get a job down there. They're paying great, you know, make a little extra money. Then, yeah, who knows? Maybe you and me take a cruise. We'd have a good time, right? Get out there. That would, that's how it would work. That's how my ethnic cleansing would work. It wouldn't be based on race or religion. It just be based on people dumb enough to think that taking a cruise is actually traveling. <laughs> Technically, you're traveling, you know, but what are you seeing? Just a bunch of, look at the water. Oh my God. You can tell that's the Atlantic Ocean. That definitely does not look like the Pacific Ocean. <laughs>